So what I'm doing here is I'm testing a Battlezone PCB on my test bench without hooking up to really anything. And you can do this um, because most issues happen within the memory access circuitry, whether it be the RAM or the ROM, um, often the RAM itself. So I don't have a dedicated setup, a vector setup for this, and I only have one board that I just found in my closet. So what I'm gonna do is test it on the bench like this. So I take off the, the auxiliary board, the math box, and I'm not really gonna even hook this up to any uh, JAMA connector or anything. I'm just gonna, from my power supply, I have just tapped right into the um, plus five in ground, uh, using the quick disconnects and the built-in metal tabs that are on a lot of these Atari boards. One to the, the plus five, one to the ground line, and to the fluke. Now, if I already, when I put it in my actual battle zone cabinet, it came up with a long high beep and then a low beep. Um, and I really don't really work in battle zones. The manual said that it should have a high beep on the first bad ROM. Um, and a low beep means it's good ROM, which I, I, that confused me because it gave the low beep after the, the, the high beep. So um, uh, the manual said that would be J2. Um, if, assuming that the, the first high beep means that it, the first one was bad. But uh, so I just went ahead and put it in my fluke. And what I found here, I did a ramp short, zero to three FF. I immediately got back a BTS OF, which means the low bits of the, the, that ram range are, are bad. And when you go to the schematics, you can see the ram low bits is J2, which is what the manual said. So I'm gonna replace it and see what happens. I already, while I was running, while I was going to get my, uh, some, some stuff from upstairs and waiting for my gun to heat up, my desoldering gun, I did a RAM long on the other RAM range. Hopefully uh, I'll replace that and everything will be fine. So I replaced the chip at J2. And now we got a RAM long running. It looks like it's working. So we'll uh, find out if that actually uh, fixes the problem. Um, I probably should test all the RAM ranges and test the ROMs. I'm just gonna plug it into my board. Oops. We got a DCD error. Oh, fun, DCD error stink. Okay. Well, that's no fun. So we got a DCD error at address 21F bit five. What that means, a DCD error means is basically the address bus usually seems stuck. There is a bit or series of bits that when the fluke writes to them, it doesn't matter whether it writes a zero or a one to that, that, that bit in the address. Um, the, so if it writes, a, let's say you're writing the address 21F, bit five would actually be the six bit from the right. And whether that's a zero or one, the fluke, when it writes it, the, the memory's accessing like it doesn't matter whether it's a zero or one there, which usually means something is stuck. So in this case, when I write a 21F, let's say I write the, the number 55, that should also appear at address 23F. Now, when I did my testing, the way I test DCD errors is I figure out what the addresses that are wrong or the bit is at the address. So 21F, I figure out what the corresponding bit um, if that bit was set. So that was a zero. At bit five was actually set as a zero in that. And so then I s imagine the bit five was set as one, which would be address 23F. So I write a value to one of the addresses and see if it magically appears when I read the other address. And it did not. Um, so that is not a DCD error. And sometimes the flu can get confused. Now what I then did is I actually just read back the value that I wrote to 21F, and it was not what I actually wrote. The high, four, the most significant four bits were not set correctly. So I assume that the, the fluke got confused, and that in fact it is just the RAM chip that controls the high four bits, which is H2, and in fact that's exactly what it was. So I replaced the that RAM, and then I reran my fluke long test. I'm thinking this is good. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let this test run, finish, and then I'm gonna put it in my battle zone cabinet and see what happens. Um, 
Hopefully the ROMs are good. It looks like there's no labels on these ROMs, so I'm assuming someone replaced them. Hopefully they put them in right and they're all correct. We'll see. I probably should test them from the fluke first, but I'm being lazy. So I put the game board in my Battlezone cabinet and it did not boot up. Brought it back to my fluke, tested all the ROMs and found I did have two bad ROMs. So I reprogrammed the ROMs and then retested the ROMs in circuit in the fluke. And then I noticed also that my reset line, I checked it before I take it, took it back in the cabinet. Reset line is, was not um, resetting the game. So that was it. I uh, had two bad RAMs and two bad ROMs on this board.